Hello, Garrett Finney here, founder, CEO, and chief designer at Taxa Outdoors. I'm here in the factory of our parking lot in Space City, USA, excited to give you a tour of the 2021 Tiger Moth. We've made a few changes that are big. I'm standing right next to the big one, and we've kept a lot of the good stuff the same. We have a front-facing window, um, which is great sort of corner view from the inside, but also lets us install our air conditioner, if you have that option, facing the front where it's not such an aerodynamic protrusion. Um, we still have this great big cargo deck step that's sized widthwise for a 12 volt fridge or a cooler or anything else you want to strap to it. All these holes are for straps and hooks so that whatever you put there is secure. If you do use a 12 volt fridge, there's a 12 volt outlet right there. Spare tire is always here on the side. The optional toolbox is right here. And then we have the standard equipment at the front of every towable habitat. The hitch that accepts a two inch ball, seven pin connector for your car. Safety chains, of course. And there's an emergency brake cable back here that attached to your car. Okay, I'm on the driver's side of the Tiger Moth where we have our power inlet, a 30 amp inlet where you plug in to charge up your batteries. We supply a 30 amp pigtail that changes to a 120 volt cord where you can use any extension cord you want. We pre-wire all our habitats with solar panel plugins. Moving towards the rear, we're showing you the five pound propane accessory, which comes with a bracket and a secure strap and a five pound bottle, which is fairly close to the kitchen back there for when you want to cook or run a lantern or anything else you might want to use with propane. Like many of our habitats, we have a step bumper, which is made to step on. These fenders are real secure, so you can get there and you can take care of your rooftop tent or your bike racks, whatever is on your Thule load bars. Like all our step bumpers, there are lots of holes in here for straps so you can strap other things in there. The back of the Tiger Moth, we have a NATO can holder. You could put fuel here or this great uh, water dispensing can which has a valve in it which I can dramatically show you running water. Um, when we pull out the kitchen you'll see that that makes a lot of sense. In the back, there are two stabilizing jacks, which in combination with your front jack keep you really stable when you are camping. And as we move up, we have an optional awning that we're showing you, an LED light that lights up your kitchen drawer, which we'll show you. And as always, we have lots of little holes all over ha habitats for stretching clothes drying cords or carabiners attaching something. That's up to you. And of course, we have our main entry door just right here. Just like all our doors, has useful hooks on it again for carabiners and whisk brooms or anything else you can imagine. Let me show you the kitchen. It is located in this big four foot drawer. Kind of a field kitchen. We have two removable covers. This one has metal brackets on the end that slot over this and make a stove platform. Your camp stove rides on top of a storage grid, which you'll see in a second, and just sits up here for easy use while you still have access to all your stuff in here. This is a cutting board, and underneath it, it's just a big storage compartment for food or pots and pans, anything you choose. And I'd like to show you that the four foot drawer has a locking mechanism so you can't accidentally slide it back in your habitat when you're cooking spaghetti. Okay, I'm on the campsite side of the Tiger Moth showing you our big side opening door. Obviously, if it's closed or a terrible rainstorm, this would be uh, closed, but you still have a big window facing your campfire and your picnic table, or if you're in a place where you're afraid of bears, you might keep this closed at night. But during the day, if you're hanging out inside, you can throw the whole side of your habitat open and sit inside as if you're on a big screen porch. As part of the soft goods package are two big screen curtains that cover the big opening. So I could unvelcro this and it fills up this whole, whole space. On the inside of this big swinging door are all this, our traditional holes for hanging lanterns or carabiners or a wet towel. Anything you can think of is fine with us. Let me give you a tour of the inside. Okay, I'm on the inside of this tiger moth. Um, both the big doors are thrown open, so I really feel like I'm on a porch. And if there were bugs, I would be dropping these screen curtains I mentioned before. We have kind of a cafe table or a laptoping table that is easily removable if you want it. 
And if you're stuck in here all day on a rainy day, there's room for the two of you, if there are two of you, to sit next to each other on a couch and be like on a, on a porch when it's raining. Um, the light switches for the habitat are up by my right hand here, turning on ambient lights and our traditional red light that does not dilate your pupils. And if it's stuffy, there is a 12 volt electric fan that you can deploy that's located in the ceiling. I can point at all these holes again. Um, when I camp in my tiger moth, I have a bungee net stretching from here over here. You can get four of those here, so you have a whole gear attic space for anything, but it really helps me clean up the room really fast. Um, we'll show you how to turn it into a bed in a second, but I want to mention the copious storage available in tiger moths. Just like we've changed our cricket and mantis, we have a new steel section that open things, opens things up underneath this to give you a lot of storage that you can configure in a lot of ways. It's really pretty, it's really pretty huge down there. And in a second, I'll show you our new battery box, which we changed to give you some more space, but also to let you have a second battery in your Tiger Moth for those of you that are going off grid for a long time. Here is the uh, big change corner in our design. You can see the second window we added, which is really cool. So in combination, you have this corner view, which is amazing. And both of them have screens and shades, of course. If you went for the air conditioning option, it would occupy this window. But since now there are two, you have uh, greatly improved cross ventilation. All your power center is here, your 12 volt fuses, your intelligent battery charging. There's a USB outlet and a 12 volt outlet and a 12 volt monitor that are all very useful. Um, when you're storing your unit for a long time, you use your battery cutoff switch to preserve your battery. Underneath me is all that storage I just showed you, but in this kind of mantelpiece configuration, there are little cubbies for your nighttime stuff or anything. I use these as a, a bookshelf. I got a rubber band and a few books and have my guide books and my map sitting up there. There's a slot right in front of it so you can put a tablet and lean it up against this wall to watch a movie. Um, Many people sleep with their heads down here. I sleep with my head up there because I want to be as outside as I can. Back here too, there's room with all these holes to stretch bungee nets um, and really maximize your storage. Let me show you how to make up the bed on the Tiger Moth. There's a strap here that locks the, the bed in the couch position. Undo that strap. Give it a pull across the floor. Flip out your pillow and you have a double bed size platform. You may notice there's kind of a triangle of floor space here that is inexplicable unless you know that it's there so that if it's raining and you have to jump in here with, with wet shoes or boots, that you're able to take off your boots and shoes and put them on the ground instead of taking them off up here on your mat. It has this big cargo deck, which is also a step, which helps get you up to whatever is on your rack. Um, these are Thule Pro crossbars. If you have those, we're showing you a three-person rooftop tent, which is an option. If you did not have a tent, these crossbars would be further back up the roof for bike racks or canoe racks, something like that. And you would have this burly cargo deck up here, which can hold a few hundred pounds of whatever you want to strap to it. 